court date is going to be on the 26th of October, okay? My court date? Mm. Well, I'm, I live out of state. I know. Well, how about you don't see it, honey? <laughs> yeah, I know. That's even, see, that might even be a better idea. Well, good early morning. It is actually road trip time in the S65. And to be honest, I don't even know if this video is going to make it onto YouTube, but I'm still going to film it, of course, because this is the first road trip in the S65. So while it is an S class, although it is a coupe, um, it has a somewhat deep trunk, but it actually isn't that good of a trunk. So this is a housewarming gift for my buddy Denny, who I'm going down to visit. He just moved to Raleigh, North Carolina. It's not from me, it's from another mutual friend. And it just fits in the trunk. I have my suitcase underneath here. My golf clubs have to go up front. Oh, look at that. And I have to kind of like force the damn trunk to close. I'm standing here in my garage, I'm ready to go, but I have this like feeling that I'm forgetting something. And I hate when I have that feeling. That's the worst feeling. And I just, I, I'm standing here thinking, I, I just can't come up with what it is I think that I'm forgetting. Of course I'll remember it, it's, you know, when I'm like 100 miles from home or whatever. But. And check out the wheels. They're, they're looking good at the moment. Uh, they're not perfectly clean, but they're like 90%. So it'll be very interesting to see what they look like after a 450 some mile road trip. The brake dust on this car is just horrific. This is the most awesome car charger by the way. You need to get one of these, autoblog.com. So they've been 30 bucks, now they're gonna be 20. So if you want one of these, go to autoblog.com, pick one up, 20 bucks. They're awesome. So we got a full tank of gas. Let's see what kind of fuel economy we get, um, how long it's gonna take. I, I'm at, stuff like this, I, I geek out on this, especially with the new car, so it'll be interesting. Now look at that. We're, I mean, literally 12 miles into the trip. This better just be a leaking tire and not some actual issue. And another thing, I actually forgot to film it. I left home and then I just went to McDonald's to pick up breakfast and I remembered I don't have my you know, the, the portable tire inflator thing, and I went home and got it, so I have it in the trunk. And I'm just gonna observe this here for a few minutes, see if I need to stop and put air in both tires. Yeah, I mean, they're staying the same pressure there, the rear tires. Um, and you, as you guys can see here, it's only 58 degrees outside, so. It was even ch chillier earlier in the morning when I pulled the car out, so I, I think the tires are just, they're acting up a little bit because of the temperature difference. All right, 92 miles in, I already got a pee, and we gotta get some air in the tires. 22.1 miles per gallon in a V12 Benz, man. That's not too bad. I gotta say, that's not too bad. And this is not a sponsored video, by the way. But this thing is a lifesaver, it really is. Okay, so we're good, no more tire pressure light. And we got 387 miles left to go. We got a little Joe Rogan podcast going here, so uh, I guess I'll check in with you guys. Something interesting happens, I guess. Uh-oh. <laughs> it sounds great! Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> Tiger Roar! This is the only car in the world that sounds like an angry tiger. Listen to this. transition in the video here. I've arrived in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina, and we're at Carolina Exotic Car uh, Dealership, which is in Raleigh. I got some nice stuff here, man. I gotta say, this G-Wagon, I love this color. Absolutely nasty. It's got the red interior. And if you haven't heard it before, but when you close the door, of a G-Class, 
It's like closing the vault to the biggest safe in the world. But check out this Aventador over here. This is probably the most interesting wrap job I've ever seen on an Aventador. <laughs> Look at this, it's green, blue, it fades into like some purple, a green and pink wheels. It's a 2017 LP740. So power-wise, just a step below an SV, which we have right over here. This is the lowest mileage SV in the country, apparently. That's what we were told. It's got 300 miles on it. 388. Very nice spec. With the white. It's got the black and red interior. Sweet. And then we got SVJ Roadster. Twelve hundred miles. Yeah, this thing's sick. So this is uh, I wasn't really planning on filming here at all, so I'm doing this with my phone. We're about to go golfing. But yeah, very nice. I mean that's interesting. What do you guys think of this Aventador? <laughs> <laughs> it's bold. It's bold. I gotta say, <laughs> it's bold. So we just found out that this Aventador belongs to apparently a very famous YouTuber called Carter Scherer. I don't really know who it is, but apparently he has like 10 million followers. So yeah, there we go. Interesting inside info there. All right, so the reason I'm down here in Raleigh is because my good buddy Denny's moved down here um, for work. He's got a nice new home, and today we're taking out the Lambo. I haven't seen this thing in a while. Gorgeous car. Am I gonna get a cold start? For not being catless, this thing is extremely loud on a cold start. I mean, it's loud. It is loud. It's got a Lamborghini Sport Exhaust, right? No, it's actually a 1016 Industries did it with, uh, uh, I think one of the places, I forget what they did. Uh, they made a like experimental race exhaust. Experimental, I like <laughs> I it. No, but it works. <laughs> it sounds great. <laughs> Denny drives his car correctly. It's always in course. <laughs> All right, so we made it to a place called Car Space here in Raleigh, and this is like a membership club for uh, yeah people who have exotic cars and so on. We're gonna go in and check it out. They rent out offices and so on. I mean, you can host podcasts in here. You can store your car in here. All kinds of cool stuff. And uh, they have some pretty cool cars on display. Look over here. We got a four five eight. Speciale. God, I love this car. It's so amazing. And we got a Nismo GTR. And look at this matte black Bugatti Chiron. That thing is nasty. I love the spec. I love the spec. The French flag colors, blue interior. We got a Senna GTR. And over here, Koenigsegg Riera. You know, this brand is obviously close to my heart. It's Swedish. Look at this thing. Oof. It is so sick. We got two racing simulators here. I like this place. This is really cool. It's like most car guys, they're also watch guys, but most car guys are also golfing guys. So they got a little driving simulator here. Super cool. You got the Formula One on here, and obviously we're stopping is uh, beating everyone's ass as usual. They got a full bar. And over here, they got an Apollo IE. This this thing looks like a freaking UFO. Look at this. Oh, you're laying down when you're driving this car. Look at that. Love the steering wheel. Yeah, this thing's sick. And uh, I could be completely wrong about this, but I think it has a Ferrari V12. It is a V12 in here. I think it's a Ferrari V12 though. 
so the thing sounds like it should. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so Denny's over here driving like a... Oh, wow, he's pushing it a little bit, yeah! <laughs> but he's scared to death to get pulled over. <laughs> I know. I told him the story about uh, the reckless driving charge in North Carolina. <laughs> He's scared to death. You I want it. him to get pulled over. That'd be you funny. ruined it for me. <laughs> And just like that, in the same video, we're on our way home. So the car has just been sitting the whole weekend. And because of that, I guess uh, one of the rear tires is acting up again, and it's the passenger one. I was glad to have this portable tire inflator thing with me here. We need a gas station as well. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what happened? North Carolina, man. What the hell? I, I can't have been speeding that much, though. Seriously. Oh, good lord. How you doing? Good, how are you, sir? What's up, buddy? I'm Trooper Wilson. I'll decide for you speeding. That's it. How much was I speeding? I got you at 86. 86? Where? Before the bridge. Damn. Way before the bridge. Yeah. Get your driver's license? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh. Where's my wallet? There it is. Good deal. Got to the registration too? Yeah. Uh, Alright, there. Right, good deal. We'll just hit Todd and Burr back, okay? Alright. Well, um, I honestly, I say this every time, I honestly, I don't think I was going on 86. What is it, it's 65, yeah, well. So if he, if he actually clocked me at 86 and it's 65, anything 15 over in the state of North Carolina is reckless driving. So if I get reckless driving for a second time in this state, I'm never coming here again, because it's ridiculous. watch i'll have a bunch of letters in the mail in a few days from ticket attorneys in north carolina saying if you just like pay us we'll make this go away because that's how it works in the state it's crazy yeah honey um, I forgot to tell you or yeah. ask you. Hold on one second. I'm being pulled over. Give me one second here, okay? All right, call me back. Hey, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. I just started for you speeding, okay? Okay. Just watch for that. Your court date will be on the 26th October, okay? My court date? Mm. Well, I'm, I live out of state. I know. What I did, I called the courthouse and just talked with them and hopefully they could guide you what to do, what to do and everything, okay? Okay. Yeah. All right, well. All right, take care, sir. Yep, you too. Are you there? Yeah, hold on. Why are you pulled over again? He said I was going 86. In a 65. I, honestly, I don't think I was going to 86. I swear to God. Stay well, this late. is North Carolina, right? I you know, I know. Well, it's going to be have to be a ticket attorney, blah, 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 like I did last <laughs> time. Oh. Right. Yeah, so. <laughs> I can't what believe. The yeah, what the f I have the dash cam, so I'm gonna have to check that because that that got me out of uh, trouble last time. So um, when I was pulled <laughs> over okay. in Georgia, when I was pulled over in Georgia, the cop said I was going 90, and I was like, no, I wasn't going 90. She's like, yeah, I hit you with laser. I know you were going 90. My dash cam proved, even though I was still speeding, it proved I was going 85, and the whole case was dropped because of that. So That's they, a they lie. yeah, I mean, like I don't. 
if she was deliberately lying or her freaking instrument was wrong, but I could prove that I wasn't going 90, I was going 85, which is still speeding, but because she said I was going 90, the whole thing was dropped. And like, he, he seemed like real down to business. He's like, hey, I pulled you over for speeding, okay? Give me your stuff, I'll be right back. Okay, hey, it was speeding, okay, goodbye, call the courthouse. <laughs> I mean, it was like real. You know why, because it's, it's a business. Day. Yeah, it's, it's a, a racket business. in the state. So in a few days, I'm gonna have tons of letters in the mail from ticket attorneys in North Carolina. And they're gonna be like, hey, you know, we can help you and like pay us and we make it go away. He's talking to me like, oh, you have a court date. I'm like, dude, I live out of state. So well, how about you don't speak, honey? <laughs> yeah, I know. That's even, see, that might even be a better idea. <laughs> yeah. But whatever. Hey, it's content, so what are you gonna do? Uh, okay, you filmed it. Oh, yeah. Of course I filmed it. Oh, all right. <laughs> All right, I gotta stop and piss and grab some breakfast. All right. I'll see you this afternoon, see baby. You All, All right, honey, I love you. Bye. All right, so we're back home, and it's it's just as warm here in Pittsburgh as it was in North Carolina. Now I have the uh, this is the ticket here. So much freaking personal information and stuff on there. It doesn't say reckless driving on the ticket but it says that uh, i apparently went 86 in a 65 and i have to appear in court and i just googled it again and fifth anything 15 over in the state of north carolina is considered reckless driving it's crazy so i'm going to sit it out for a few days and see if i get you know a bunch of letters in the mail from traffic ticket attorneys or type of attorneys that do this because last time this happened uh, I was going down to Asheville, North Carolina on a Thursday and I spent the whole weekend in Asheville for a Ferrari Club of America event. When I came home on the Monday, my, my mailbox was filled with three different traffic ticket attorneys. So I'm going to wait it out and see if that happens uh, this time as well and uh, we'll just take it from there. But uh, yeah, I am uh, <clears throat> pretty sure I wasn't going on 86. And I also noticed that I didn't have the setting on for my new dash cam that actually uh, tracks the speed while I'm driving. So as you guys could see in the dash cam footage, uh, it's not showing the speed, which is a freaking bummer because I really wanted to see that. So yeah, that pissed me off a little bit. So I'm gonna have to obviously um, fiddle around with those settings there. But yeah, um, <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say about that at the moment. It's definitely karma because I was joking around that I wanted Denny to get pulled over because it'd be funny in the Lambo and then obviously he didn't and I didn't check out the wheel it's like it's brown look how dirty this get this is a thousand miles no rain or slushy or crazy weather just it's been super hot this is just pure brake dust on the wheels compared to what they looked like before we left so i'm gonna wash the car up here you guys have seen that a million times already so we're not gonna film that but yeah i thought it was just gonna be a normal little road trip vlog which i usually don't film and upload uh, unless something really interesting happens i was gonna upload it either way but then we end up getting pulled over in north carolina again so uh stay tuned that's all i can say in regards to this matter Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a huge thumbs up if you feel like it and you haven't already. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.